Ever since I started using raw code, I have honestly barely switched back to anything else. The high quality, the flexibility, the total control over it, and the deep customization of the modes and the models, it just fantastic and recently they have published what is in my opinion one of the best updates yet raw code 3.15 which published a new mode that called orchestrator or the boomerang mode a high quality ui and support for more languages and even better genetic logic this update is a total game changer and i can't wait to show you why so let's get started before we code anything let's take a look to how this boomerang mode work you give it a large task very large task which usually we don't do that when we working with an coding assistant we break it apart to multiple steps then it will automatically switch or delegate the task for the specialized mode we have for example the thinking mode or the coding mode and based on it it will switch and use the mode that it need and it also streamline the workflow it means that sub task can be automatically passed to the next one if it's think about certain logic that it need to be created it will pass it to the code modes and it will code it for you and come back to analyze it and see if it's good or not and here in a basically four step how it will work first you give it the big task it will analyze the complex task that it have and su and suggest breaking it down into sub task then the bearing task which is the bigger one will stop and the new sub task will begin in a different mode basically if it have to think first it will switch to the thinking mode if it have to code first, it will switch to the coding mode. When the sub task is goal is done, row code basic will single the main task or the orchestrator mode that it's completed. Then the bearing task will continue with a summary of the sub task, and then the orchestrator will use this summary to continue working on the big task. Act like a developer. That's how I can see it for me. You give it a big task, it will break it to smaller task then when the main task the first task is done it will continue building on top of it so what kind of models that we should use with the boomerang mode or the orch orchestrator first thing come to my mind is the gemini 2.5 pro preview model but it's extremely limited you only can use it 25 time per day as an abi or you can use the deepseek r10 from open router which is limited i don't remember the exact number but it's more than 25 per day or you can use the quinn 3 235 volume parameter which is the latest open source model that we got if you want to know more about them go ahead i will leave link in the description down below for it it have both the syncing capability and non-syncing capability and it's also a mixture of expert model which is very good so inside the ABI configuration, you first need to set up what kind of model that you want to use. I already set up the one that I used, the Gemini 2.5, which is the Pro version actually. I can go back to the orchestrator down below over here and hit edit. And I can select it from over here. And you can see here also main prompt for this mode and what the role of this mode exactly and you can scroll down to see what enhanced prompt that you can use for this mode and i'm with the deep sec version 3 it's for free hit done you can also check for the coding one i am using the gemini 2 point flash and for architect i am using the sonnet 3.7 which is a very good model for ask also the 3.7 and you can switch this one to the deep sec version 3 by the way it's not a big deal debugging it can ver Pro version of the Gemini is better one than the Flash, but it depends on how you feel about the model and the vibe that you feel about it. But for me, either the new Gemini models or the Sonnet models or relying on the free version of the DeepSeek R1 model and the Quinn 3 is a good idea also. So what are we going to work with? This project is basically have been built in front of the people here in the channel. And I shown a lot of example how to use raw code and Klein and a lot of other coding assistant using this project. What I want to do is inside the job pages, I want to add the SEO that meta tags inside it. And this is basically have to change the logic of it because it have to be server side rendering page, not using Redux. I want to implement an SEO page and it's Nick's, Nick's GS15 with app router 
what is the goal that I want and exactly what I need to do is fetch the data before pass it to the SEO function. So I will hit run. Once more, I'm pretty sure it will do the planning first, then select mode to build with it. Now it wants to switch to the coding mode with the subtask instruction that is building it right now. And I will hit approve and it automatically switched to the coding mode. I have noticed something very cool about the subtask or when you use the orchestrator and it open any mode that you have, you can modify it and improve it when it's opened and when it's done and you feel like you're, this is what you want. We can complete the subtask and return. And I had to modify a lot of stuff uh, using the Sonnet 3.5, which is weird to see it, but this model is still one of the best at coding yet. I did give it the correct API to fetch from, how to fetch it, uh, what kind of data that I want, and the improved the generate metadata. Right now it's in very perfect. And I will hit complete subtask and return, and we'll see what will the boomerang will give us. Okay, so it seemed like it's done. I will go and see if it's working correctly or not. Before it's refreshing, we should, yeah, it's working, yeah. It's fetch the name of the job before the page render, which the way that I want it. And if you open the dev tools, we should see information about like keywords, as I can see here, the remote jobs and the description over here in the content for the OG. The OG tags is for the social media like Twitter and Facebook and all this kind of platform. This one is for Twitter, but this one OG for Facebook. And uh, as I can see here, the title is already fetched before the page even rendered. This is how it should work. Okay, there is multiple improvements that I can do in this task, but I just wanted to show you how this boomerang is actually working. This is a, actually a simple task, but I like how it planned ahead to do it before it start doing anything. This is a completely different project that I'm working on right now. And I want to see if this boomerang task or the orchestrator mode can handle a task from the start to the end. I mean, like I want to create, for example, a contact us page and I want to start from the back end using the Barisma schema database that I have to the Redux state management slice and finally connecting everything in the front end UI. And I have nothing except maybe the schema Barisma that I have inside it there is a table that should be used for storing the messages that are coming in the contact us and i told it please look to the existing project structure and the coding style and build all the needed in the current architect and i'm using the queen 3 235 billion parameter model this is to test if this model can handle this kind of work or not now we'll hit enter the only bad thing about this model is the context Window of it, it's very small compared to anything else that I have used. Anyway, it seemed like it and understand what it need to be done. It kind of made decision and it want to switch to the code mode because it need to read the Verisma schema and implement the contact us logic in the back end logic and the Redux slice and the front end component. And I will hit approve. This is what it did after I send it. First thing is scan the entire project to see if something is missing and what it need to be implemented. It found nothing about the contact us page in terms of logic. So the first thing it did, it created the, this simple function inside the new controller called the contact us inside the shared folder. Then it went back to the clients and added it inside the client's router, ABI point. And then it created a new slice right over here which had an issue but it did fix it later then it added to the store of redux and this is without me doing anything until now and then it created a simple contact us form inside a component then finally it did add it to the main page over here as you can see here it wanted to add this to the main page but i told it no i wanted it in its own page then bam it go ahead and create it but when I tested, I forgot that the current Superbase database is frozen. I am not using it. So it resulted in an error when, when I send the message. But as you can see here, the UI is extremely ugly. But it can actually create something from you from the back end to the front end. And you can modify the current task when it's working, especially in the subtask of code. Is the orchestrator mode or the boomerang task mode is good? Yeah, it's actually very good. But... It's kind of depend on which model that you use. What I have seen so far that 
Gemini 2.5 Flash Pro is really good because the context is long and it's very good at coding. And you can select something that is very decent at coding inside the code mode like the Sonnet or maybe the DeepSeq version 3.1 or the Gemini 2.5 Pro also very good at coding. My recommendation to start using it, at least to test it a little bit. Don't leave it, just monitor what it's doing in case if anything went wrong which is something that I really encourage a lot of people to do, especially when you're using a coding assistant. I mention it a lot in my upcoming ebook, the playbook for coding with AI. Do I recommend using the Quen3 model? It's kind of no for me. I will pass on it. I have much better alternative right now, like the Gemini models, the even the GPT 4.1 coding model is better. In open source, there is the V3.1 from DeepSeek is amazing. Anyway, if you found this video respecting you and providing you with valuable information, please hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment. Comments is amazing for this kind of videos. It helps the video get pushed even more. So finally, thank you for watching and see you in the coming video.